Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with an interesting transit video again. I'm in drikpanchang.com and this is the date for the retrogression of Saturn. I'll tell you why I'm giving these dates. So on 17th of June 2023, this year, Saturn became retrograde and he will go progressive on 4th of November. Remember 4th of November. <laughs> now, in between what is happening, so when you know what happens, you know, when a planet is retrograde, he goes behind uh, from a relative perspective of the Earth, you know, the planet is moving behind relative, not literally, okay? So then what happens is from the perspective of the Earth, the planet can sometimes go, uh, not sometimes, certainly uh, it goes to the previous nakshatra, it's possible. And sometimes even it can go to the previous zodiac sign, even that is possible, okay? So on 14th of March, which is when Saturn was direct, 14th of March, uh, Saturn had entered Shatabhisha nakshatra, okay? <clears throat> And then uh, on 15th and uh, on 15th of October, it will enter Dhanishtha. So Dhanishtha is the nakshatra which is previous to Shatabhisha. And because from 14th March, it was going, uh, going, going straight. And then it later went retrograde uh, and it is currently retrograde. So on 15th of October, it will enter Dhanishtha nakshatra. And then on 24th November, which is 40 days, Saturn will again enter Shatvisha Nakshatra, okay? So that means uh, on 4th of November, he will be stationary uh, in Dhanishtha Nakshatra and then from 4th, he will again start moving forward and then by 24th, in another 20 days, he would have reached Shatvisha Nakshatra again. So essentially, this is the transit of Saturn in Dhanishtha Nakshatra from 15th of October to 24th of November, so 40 days. So, a uh, very interesting time because uh, let's go to the previous year. I'm in drikpanchang.com. Let's see <clears throat> when, when exactly did Saturn uh, enter Dhanishtha Nakshatra. So, if you see last year, February 17th, 2022, Saturn had entered Dhanishtha Nakshatra. So that means from 17th February last year, 17th February last year to, <clears throat> if you see current year, uh, 14th March. Okay, so almost 13 months Saturn was in Dhanishtha. And now for 40 days, he's again entering Dhanishtha. Okay, uh, just for 40 days, just like, Five, five, five and a half, six weeks, right? So, what is Thanishtha Nakshatra basically? And as usual, if you're new to the channel, if you haven't yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end after watching it and please share with somebody uh, who you think can benefit from this video. And yes, if you want a consultation from me regarding your career, marriage, relationships, health, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him. You will and you will surely find him. Especially when Saturn is transiting Dhanishtha. Well, what is Dhanishtha Nakshatra? Well, first of all, what is Saturn retrograde? Because retrograde uh, brings the previous energies back to our life. Okay, So I have already discussed in detail and elaborately on the retrogression of Saturn. So I will not discuss that here. But... In summary, uh, you can uh, view that video uh, in my uh, live section, I guess, in my uh, playlist, in, in my uh, channel, in my YouTube page. Go to the live section. There you can view in the last uh, two, three weeks, we had discussed that. But to be precise, uh, whenever Saturn is retrograde, there is some karma that we did, but it was not done in the best way. Or maybe we did it in our best capacity but it is now calling for uh, it's like something is rising from the dead it's like resurrection okay some something similar okay we, which means we thought we did something but then uh, it was not that something was not something <laughs> <clears throat> which means we thought we completed 
the task but uh, later on when we saw the results although they were satisfactory but they they were in a way that we uh, we we don't we don't want to see them that way okay so maybe there's a difference in quality or quantity in the results and this is uh, related to the houses which Saturn rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant. So depending on your ascendant, Lagna, rising sign, wherever Capricorn and Aquarius is falling, there you will see that uh, these, uh, these things could have manifested, okay, since the time when Saturn went retrograde. So now, the thing is, uh, he's not only retrograde now, so currently he's in Shatabisha, but very soon, 15th of October, he's going to enter Dhanishtha Nakshatra. And as I said, last year, February to this year, March, Saturn was entirely almost in Dhanishtha. So try and think, what were you doing last year? Now, it's very difficult to think, oh, last year I was doing so many things, you know. How do I know what I was doing, when, where, how, and how do I know which, which is related? Well, uh, you can try to simplify it, although it's not easy it's easier said than done but try to see the houses which saturn rules in your chart so where is capricorn and where is aquarius they are the adjacent signs always so which which houses are they ruling uh, so depending on that you can understand what what were you doing related to those houses so for let me give you an example if you are a leo or cancer for example uh, and of course the disclaimer is always there like before uh, whenever I say Leo or Cancer, it does not mean because see there are uh, one sixth of the world population. So almost one billion or actually more than that, one billion people are actually maybe the Leo or uh, Cancer ascendants, right? But what I'm saying now will not be applicable 100% to everybody because it depends on your overall chart. You know, in overall chart, there are nine planets, there are 12 zodiac signs, they are divisional charts, they are dashas. So all these things matter at the end. But if I give you, if I try to give you a rough estimate, if you would have seen somebody who is a Cancer or a Leo Lagna, for them what happens is Saturn is the lord of the seventh house because the seventh house will either have Capricorn or Aquarius, right? For these two ascendants. So Saturn is the Lord of Seventh House, which shows marriage, relationship, partnerships, uh, not, not like love, romantic relationships, but uh, those kind of relationships which are like uh, long term and permanent and which have some contract, okay, some bondage, some binding is there, okay. So most likely it shows marriage. Actually, it's officially the house of marriage. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so that means for Leo or Cancer, you need to check uh, what were you doing last year, okay, uh, in context of marriage, okay, now because uh, it, it's, it is the Lord of the seventh house. So, something related to the seventh house was not completed, something related to marriage or uh, your business partners, you know, like, or uh, some, uh, some large organization or some uh, open enemy, you know, because seventh house is also large organizations and open enemies. So, were you doing something related to uh, these houses last year? And was it uh, was it that uh, towards the beginning of this year when Saturn entered Chatabisha in March, did you feel that, oh, maybe there's something which I need to redo again? Then, uh, well, maybe now is the time uh, for you to do it. And in this, you also have to check what Dhanishta Nakshatra is. You know, Dhanishta Nakshatra is the nakshatra of celebration it is the nakshatra which gives you dhan wealth uh, not on literal sense but yeah it, it it shows wealth to some extent okay like money uh, and name fame power position and dhanishta is also li related to lord shiva's drum okay so yeah so this this like when 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 do when does lord shiva play the drum you know uh, so the drum in general uh can signify like there is some auspicious event which is occurring or there is some um, not so auspicious sometimes. <laughs> it's like an alarm. So it's like you are playing this. Okay, so either during some announcement. So you might see that people are making some announcements related to uh, those houses where, you know, Capricorn and Aquarius falls, you know. So 
Leo or Cancer, uh, it is possible that they might make some announcement in regards to their marriage. You know, maybe they are getting some of you, uh, you may see, depending on their Mahadasha and Tadasha, they may get married or they may get divorced or uh, they may announce, you know, that we want to stay separate for some time or uh, they 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 might have already been in a long-term relationship and now they're announcing that they are getting married okay or maybe it's like arranged marriage as i said before like they may just get married uh, or you could see you know that uh, they make a decision you know that maybe they have to move somewhere else you know and then one of them has to go somewhere and because of that the other person has to stay somewhere else so uh, the damuru is uh, played by Lord Shiva generally when uh, there is destruction. Okay, generally, generally, generally when there's destruction. But the Damru also signifies uh, celebration, as I said, you know. So there is something which is coming into conclusion. Okay, so something is fructifying. It is like uh, the end result, the end goal is being achieved. Okay, so therefore... Uh, if you see, uh, if you have certain things which are pending related to uh, Capricorn and Aquarius, depending on your chart, then maybe things might reach a conclusion during these 40 days uh, from mid of October to 24th of November. Okay, So, which means, you know, like if uh, Saturn is like your 10th Lord, you know, then uh, you, maybe you might join a new company or, you know, some. You might start your own company, you know, you, you might like change your job or you may try to do something else, you know, so some announcement or something is coming up. But whatever it is, it shows something which you have already tried last year, but you were to some extent or to a large extent, maybe not happy with the results or it could be something completely new also. Okay. So therefore... You have to check uh, what is going on uh, in your chart, which dashas you are running. Uh, so, for example, as I said, you know, if Saturn is your seventh lord, if you're Leo or Cancer, and your Mahadasha is indicating uh, that you can get married, and Antar Dasha also says the same thing, and you are above 25, then it might be possible that you are getting married, okay, uh, during this period. And uh, it, or it could be the other way around also. If Saturn is the lord of your sixth house, depending on your ascendant, uh, well, then maybe there could be some challenges which are coming in your marriage, okay, depending on your dashas, okay. So the best way to study any transit, because see, the transits are general, it's happening for everybody. Even if you take one ascendant, you take Leo ascendant, then there are one twelfth of the world population uh, are actually Leo lagnas. So it will not be that, oh, yeah, yeah, for everybody, Leo, uh, Saturn is the seventh Lord uh, and, you know, something blah, blah, blah is happening for marriage. No, it's not necessary. You have to see what is going on in the Dasha. So, for example, if you are a Leo Lagna and Saturn is your seventh Lord, but in the Dashas, Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, you are running uh, a very powerful Dasha for your career. So it might mean that you are doing some collaboration with some big organization because, Seventh house also shows big organizations and collaborations. Okay, so it may not be marriage. So your dashas will tell you which aspect of the seventh house is getting activated. Okay, uh, like for uh, for for not for cancer for Aries lagna, uh, Shani is your tenth lord and eleventh lord. So something definitely something related to the profession is indicated. But what is it? Which dasha are you running? You know. Which Antar Dasha are you running? So Antar Dasha, Mahadasha, they will tell you. And then because Saturn is your 10th Lord, 11th Lord, something which something related to the profession which the Mahadasha, Antar Dasha says will happen during these 40 days. Okay. So for that, you have to check your Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, and you have to check originally what is the uh, strength of that event. So for example, uh, if something big is happening in your career, is indicated. Okay. But... If overall the chart is not having a strong, uh, having strength for professional growth or success, then the event will be very small and, uh, and mild and minuscule. You know, it will not be such a big event. Okay. But if uh, there are big things indicated, then this transit will be very big. Uh, and even if the dasha, so first the overall chart, the comprehensive analysis, then the dashas 
then the transit. So if all the three are indicating big things in your profession, only then there will be big things. Otherwise, uh, it will just be like maybe a small promotion or some pay rise or some something to do. You get another job, but uh, it's okay. It's not like a very big achievement. Okay, so it depends on the overall chart and your dashas and then see the transit. Okay, so beware. 40 days, November 15 to, oops, sorry, October 15 to 24th of November. This is the time of the transit, like 39, 40 days. So please be on the watch out and have a look at what you did from last year, February to this year, March. Something related to that you might do again and there might be a celebration or maybe something is ending. <laughs> okay, even if something is ending, it still could be a point for celebration, okay? And the only caution you need to take is do not beat the drums before you actually win. Okay, so be careful before you make any announcement during those 40 days because this is a retrograde energy. And if you make an announcement and you uh, broadcast to the entire world that you are doing something and then later on you don't do, you may face, um, yeah, you, you may become a laughing stock. Okay, so make sure you get the results and then you announce okay not before all right thank you so much if you like this video please click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is going to be benefited and if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation my website is down in the description section exoticastrology.in god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you